Hello everyone and welcome to this session of What's New in MXU. My name is Stéphane Couture and I'm joined today by Louis-Philippe Gendron. Louis thank you. Yeah, thank you Stéphane. Glad to be back with uh, this uh, 5.16 version. And see on that version, there is uh, some new stuff. So what, what's new with uh, 5.16? <laughs> there is a new, the new scan plan and the new calibration for the TCG. Okay, okay. Yeah. let's jump in with uh, the scan plan. Yes. So same as before, you start with the scan plan from the menu, and then what? Uh, we change the, the menu and the approach a little bit. And you can, like you can see here, uh, we are in 3D now, but uh, for the people that are more, uh, more comfortable to use this view, you can change it either way. Um, we change a little bit the part category here. We offer now three choice. Simple uh, geometry with no weld, simple welded jo joints, and the custom part here. Uh, let's let's start with the simple welded joints. So we add the, the new circle weld and the girt weld on that section. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want to change uh, for for the step for the the material, you have to change the page here. It's very important. And we had uh, two new features here. The first one is the part reference relative to the datum. So basically, what is what it's mean, and what we mean by that is, um, it's ref the reference from the asset of the um, your your weld uh, inspections. So if I change that to ten millimeters, to maybe twenty, so that's mean my zero zero uh, from my asset, I will be at 10 millimeters on the primary axis mm -hmm. and then 20 millimeters from the uh, secondary axis reference. So that is not the scanning start and stop, that mm -hmm. is your asset reference. Yes, exactly. Right. This is what it's reflect from your job. From your and then you can change the name at the same time. So if you want to, I don't know, maybe name it NO for nor, North uh, West, no, yeah. NW? NW, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, whatever, whatever the name, if you want to change it, you can change it uh, by A, by example. And that will, that will be changed on your um, interface. And after that, the rest is pretty much the same as before. Mm -hmm. But exceptions, we just let the screen on the left side. And then you can continue to do your same as usual. So you have your weld bevels, weld uh, definitions still available, yep. section by section. Exactly. And also, what we had uh, um, on that section, on the scan plan, we had a new uh, part, is the mm -hmm. scanning here. So before you start your, uh, you start your acquisitions, you can establish what kind of scanning pattern you want uh, for your inspections. Uh, like uh, like before, we, we have the time, the one-line scanning, the raster scan. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're choosing the raster scan, by example here, you can see by the screen overlay here, uh, the green overlay, sorry, uh, you can define where it stops uh, so that that will guide you uh, approximately uh, where to stop with your raster scan here. And you can also select your encoder, whether it's a one-line encoder or a raster yep. encoder. Yeah. You have the lab full library, just like in the menus, with the convenience of having it in the scan plan. Exactly. Great. So let's jump into the other uh, item on the list, the uh, bona fide TCG for phase array inspection. So what I have in front of me is a setup done with a dual matrix array probe and a couple of side drill holes. So typically with a TCG calibration, you want to uh, collect the amplitude of reflector from every uh, beam or every angle, and then normalize that amplitude to a reference level. But in a case like that, where it is impossible to normalize or calibrate the minimum angle and the maximum angle with uh, the, the, the same reflector, we're in a bit of a pickle. So with MXU 516, what we added is the ability to uh, not only gate the reflector depth-wise, but also add index limiters. So to do that, uh, we still go in the uh, calibration tool menu. Uh, we, well, calibration tool like that, and select the uh, TCG calibration 
tab. We have the same environment we used to have. Uh, so we have the MP2 trace at the bottom, the A scan, the S scan. We now have the ability to select between ThruDep and SoundPad gate and also uh, move our uh, gate on the depth axis and on the index axis or those index limiters as I was referring to. So on the screen, we have our 50% uh, thickness or half thickness side drill hole that we'll start with. And as you see, um, the part of the sectorial scan gets shaded and that is what defines basically our index limiters. So we have vertical dotted lines to move left and right and adjust our index. In reality, we also limit the array of angles. So you see on the screen that it's shaded on the, uh, the S scan. You also see it on the uh, envelope trace at the bottom that uh, we're limiting the uh, array of angles that we now calibrate. So by doing so, I can move the reflector left and right, cover the root of the weld, as well as the has, and make sure that my region of interest is completely covered uh, during the calibration. If I go back on the uh, said calibration, uh, well, got to account for uh, user manipulation errors, a different coupling, but that doesn't look so bad. Uh, so we're right on the money for the half thickness side rail hole. We can change the gate depth as well as uh, start and width uh, for the second side drill hole, the two third thickness. And we adjust our index limiters to encompass the weld as well as the has uh, one more time. So we see that on the sectoral scan, uh, the, the, we almost cover every uh, every minimum angles or the, the shallow angles and uh, we don't uh, we don't calibrate the steep angles again add point and as we go back and review the calibration we are at our reference level between the tolerance lines so those are our two side drill holes Typically, you would want to do three, so third thickness, half thickness, and uh, two third thickness. But in this uh, demo scenario, that's what I had access to. Uh, for if you encounter any need to uh, add a TCG point or normalize the amplitude of a notch, you can change your gate to sound path mode, limit your angles um, to the steeper or steepest angles, and basically, uh, only calibrate for the um, surface waves. This way, as I'm set up right now, we can we are calibrating, normalizing for only the has before the weld, creating the envelope. When we hit hit uh, add point and go back and review it, we are at the reference level again. So any notch any crack anything before the weld is also now uh, calibrated for uh, the inspection for that uh, you have the overlay now accessible directly from the tcg calibrations that's that means you only aim on that section right yes very good point so how would how useful would the index limiters be without the uh, the weld overlay. Of course, they had to come hand in hand and be uh, added at the same time. Uh, good point. Okay. Um, and as we go back on the calibrated uh, reflectors or side holes, we can validate that we are still within or close to within tolerance. <laughs> A little bit of uh, water couplant difference. There we go. So we're right in our tolerance lines right there. Good. Uh, so we have, as you see on the bottom right, we have our three points that were added. Uh, regardless if they're added from shallowest to deepest or in any orders, they will get added uh, correctly. And as we go back live on the screen, as we see here, uh, we can validate that we still have our reference levels with uh, the TCG curve for side hole number one, number two, 
And if I move the probe back and go uh, and revalidate the uh, notch in the has, we are still on point there as well. Another point we forgot to mention is that on that version, uh, we also uh, increase the performance of the instrument. Correct, uh, yeah. correct. So we mentioned it in the last edition, the 515 software uh, version. This is a continuous improvement. From one version to the next, we tackle uh, any performance lag that we find that you guys report. So it's very important that we keep in touch uh, on any uh, potential improvements. Yep. All right. Thank you, Stefan. Yeah, that sums it up. Thank you for joining me, Louis-Philippe. Um, if you have any questions, if you would like to know more, feel free to contact either of us or your local sales representative. So see you next time.